I don't believe you. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. <laughs> um, I don't believe how this turned out tonight. I, I'm I'm just blown away. I am uh, I'm, I'm 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 lost. But like I lost 600 ducks. They're down there at the water, floating around. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to. No, it wasn't. I let them out too late. The problem was is that I when I was sitting there and I kept seeing you guys that it's getting darker and darker, and I, I was getting harder and harder to see through the scope. That's when I should have went down because they got spooked because something was in the uh, um, uh, the bulrushes because they started back and like a bunch of them came back and then halfway um, on their trek back they got spooked and turned around it's on video it was on stream number one you could see them getting spooked and turn around and back out to the lake they were coming home but something spooked them this has happened before, you know. I just never had this many. Like, I've had a couple hundred do it, but not six. Like, there's at least six. At least. Because, well, this is this is it, man. This is all we got here right now. This is it right here. I can't believe they almost drowned Doug. That That's the thing that, uh, uh, that got me, was how uh, they just went right over top of Doug. But Doug was freaked out when he went down there. He uh, he was acting like something was in the bulrushes. He was all psyched up over it. Oh. Okay, safety's on. Right. Just gotta make sure here. I'm uh, I, I just I, I'm I'm. I'm what, it's 11:45. 11:45. So I'll set my alarm for three. Hopefully I'll hear it. And I can do a check outside. Maybe, or maybe four would be better. I'm trying to think of a good time to do a check. That oh, I'm gonna turn the scope off. I'm not organized here, guys. Hang on. All right, I'm gonna turn this thing off. All right, we're off. Yeah. Um, it's 11.45? Yeah, well, it's 10.45 here in Ontario. But it was like, I couldn't believe that they, they went right over top of Doug, put Doug under the water. I thought for sure that uh, when uh, we were, they were like, I thought, I, I thought for sure that I was in the canoe and Doug swimming towards them, that they, that would be enough to push them onto the, the shore to start walking towards the light. Because when I was down there, you can see the the the, uh, the property clear as a bell, and you can look. Actually, when you're looking up towards the house, the whole swamp's lit up. But they just wouldn't come home. <laughs> Everybody's giving me their time checks. They panicked in the creek. And almost drowned Dougie. Well, he went underwater. He was gone. He disappeared. All I could see was ducks. And Doug was gone. He was swimming there beside me in the canoe. And next thing you know, it was just ducks. No Doug. And I freaked out then. And I put my hand in the water. And I was like reaching around. And I grabbed his collar. Pulled him up. And then uh, he went to shore. But like, you know, just a trooper, man. But there was, there, there was something here. That's what freaked the ducks out when they turned around and went back to the uh, um, uh, the lake when they were starting to come back. You know, they wouldn't go swim up the creek and then they did that mud uh, uh, track where they were coming back in the mud on, on stream one. Uh, yeah, it would have been stream one. You would have saw them come back in the mud, you know, walking back. And that was it. That's what happened here. Just an absolute mess. Mess. Doug, he didn't face, he got out, went on the, on the shoreline, gave it a shake, and he was back in the water. It meant nothing to him. Freaked me out. I gotta turn some lights off because look at this. They're going over here to the garden because I've got so many lights on right now. Stripper Magoo, they're in the pen. They haven't left the pen, man. They're, they're, they're sticking close. I don't believe it. The amount of lights I got going right now, 
Nothing. Not a, not even a glimmer of a duck. Not even a glimmer. Like there's not even a little bit of white sparkles on the creek. Like I keep looking down there and thinking, you know, Doug's getting a warm shower tonight. Uh, on the back deck, a nice warm shower. He likes warm showers, cooperates for those. Doesn't like the cold ones. Okay, where's the dog? Doug, where are you? Be right there. Um, he, he was a trooper. He, I couldn't believe how, how good he helped me, but it was just too much. What it took, actually, what it took two people, like two, the boat and Doug, two people, two people, two boats and Doug. And still, chances are, uh, the ducks still wouldn't have gone because they would not get out of the water. They wouldn't. They were just like, I'm, I'm totally freaked out, freaked, totally freaked out ducks. I wish I would have had the pivot heads, honestly. I would have thrown the raw footage up just so you could have seen the mess. It was a mess, man. Just bad. Just bad. I'm looking here. There's, I bet you there's maybe, maybe 200 ducks. Maybe there's 800 ducks at the lake right now. Yeah, there might be 800, guys. There's not a lot of ducks here. So absolutely guaranteed we're going to lose some ducks tonight. Absolutely guaranteed. Unless they somehow, you know, totally stay on the water and do not come out of the water. That's the only way. And I was shocked how many geese uh, were uh, down there. Like I was shocked that when I was we were at the flashlight, I was like, I couldn't believe the amount of geese that were in the water. Okay, I gotta, I gotta start turning some lights off here to get these ducks uh, motivated to go in. Oh, I gotta do that. I'll close the other end. Of the pen. Oh man, can't believe it. Ten fifty, and I thought for sure, you know, we were gonna let the ducks out. Coyote was gonna show up. Flat, boom. That's over. Great episode. Wrap that up, and uh, and then uh, you know. <laughs> have a reasonable night but I should have when I told you guys there that it was getting harder to see through the scope I should have stopped right there went down there and uh, got them home I should have went down and gave them an escort but I you know when I when they when they did that freak out okay bad connection how can I have a bad internet hang on here This is the most bizarre thing, guys. Now I got a good connection, but I'm not even 35 feet from the tower. Like, and there's nothing between the tower and me. I wonder if it's interference from the uh, the other Wi-Fi. Let's see when I walk by the other camera. Come on, Doug. Come on, Doug. See, Dougie's watching. See? But there's not a sign. There's no glimmer of wipe down there at all. Zero zip. Mandy Lee, you, you missed everything if you're just asking that question now. <laughs> Thank you, Fred. Yeah, I needed to be beaten up a little bit more tonight. Kick a man when he's down. Come on, Doug. No, you don't hear them. You hear the ducks in the uh, the in the yard. There's absolutely no sound. Come on, Doug. 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 Okay. The dog just wants to stay here. Doug. <laughs> Leo. <laughs> I can take a good beating. Um, I, I'm used to being abused. Come on. I've had, I, I'm, I'm getting quite uh, used to the the, uh, the the abuse in the chat here. No, you didn't see everything, Mandy. Because if you did, you wouldn't be asking me this silly question right now. 
because I, I just explained everything earlier. And I, I told you, like, Doug almost got drowned. We failed. I don't know how else I can explain it to you that you understand right now. But there's nothing I can do. I paddled my face off out there. Doug swam his face off. And uh, there's just no way we're getting 800 freaked out ducks off the water. It would take a whole bunch of people. And a whole bunch of boats. And you'd have to get more lights uh, in, the, uh, in the swamp to light the swamp up so that they would come down. Because they just won't, they will not get out of the water. There, uh, there was something here. I know it. Uh, just the fact that when Doug, I let Doug out, he came out of the house, wouldn't even listen, straight down to the creek. And his hair was up. Straight down to the creek, hair was up. And, uh, and I, well, you probably heard me yelling because he wouldn't, he, he wouldn't stop. He just took off. And then I was down in the boat and he was, and I looked up and I could see him running back and forth, running back and forth on uh, doing the smelling thing on the creek. So when we were sitting there with the gun, I was right that the coyote was close because, you know, the ducks were walking the, the, uh, the, the bulrush line. He just didn't feel comfortable to dart out and get one because I guess you just feel that they, they, they weren't getting close enough to him. But the way Doug acted when I let him out, he was there. Just he didn't want to show himself to get smoked. Well, he didn't show himself because you know he didn't feel that there was a, a good opportunity to get a duck. So, but like I said, when they freaked out that last time there, when they were coming back and they got half of the all, there was that big long duck train coming back, and then all of a sudden they just half the train stopped and turned but went back. Uh, that was it. Those ducks were at the lake for the night. See the adults? They know, eh? Go in the pen. It's safe in there. All right, I gotta turn some more lights off here. Uh, get it darker and darker. And we'll, uh, see, <laughs> look at this. Eh? They're out in the driveway chasing bugs. Yes, Jasmine, they're good adults, but they know the deal. Oh, one, uh, one duck is not a big meal for a... Uh, um, uh, uh. No, I'm not switching. I'm, I'm on the tower. I've got it locked to the tower. I've got it so it's forgotten the house. Because I checked it. It's still on the tower. There's, just, there's something that goes on. In a certain part in the pen, I don't know. It just started lately. Today, with the heat, actually, just started. That uh, there's a dead spot. I don't know what happened. Go. No. Okay. You can tell me how many times they left the pen when Doug walked or when Doug walked around. What, what does that have to do with the ones at the lake? Duck walking around the pen, how does that affect the ones at the lake? Where's Doug? He's right in front of me, Andrew. Right there. Doug's right here. Actually, Doug's going to get into the position to watch the ducks. See? He's being cool. Yeah, but how, okay, this in and out of the pen, what does that have to do with the lake? I don't understand. You're, you're, you're rambling on me here. Bentley? I don't know. I think Bentley's at the lake. Because I haven't seen uh, a little poofy head duck around here. Uh, I, I was actually looking for him. I'm thinking he's at the lake too. So, ducks going in and out of the pen have nothing to do with uh, what's going on right now at the, at the lake. So, you know, honestly guys, sometimes I, 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 uh, I think people just type chat to type because sometimes they don't make any sense. Have I ever thought about another dog? I went to the uh, Predator dog store drive-through and they had nothing. 
So uh, no dog, no dog this year. Maybe I'm reading chat out of context. No, because you keep telling me about Doug running around the pen and the ducks going in and out of the pen. But the, the pen isn't the problem. It's the it's the lake with the 800 ducks down at the lake that won't come home. That's the problem. It, Photo Girl, it was stream number one is the stream. So go to Coyote Creek Cam number one, I think is what it was called. And... Uh, uh, yeah, the Hello Ducks. Jasmine, I was down there. They were just freaked. Like, I'm not kidding you. You know what they, know what they were acting like? It, they were acting like they were getting attacked. That's what they were acting like. It, it was like, it was unbelievable. I uh, I, I couldn't, I, I, I've never seen them that freaked out. Like, we had, Doug and I had them. You know, at the mouth of the creek, there's that little inlet there where it's a little, it, it goes, there's the mouth of the creek and then it widens and then it gets thin again. I had all the ducks in that area and I had the canoe sideways and Doug on my right hand side and he was swimming in and there was like, there was, I thought for sure, like there was three feet between me and the, the right hand side of the creek and Doug was in between there. So like they couldn't even, that three foot piece, I thought there's no way they're gonna go there. Doug's head's right there, he's swimming towards them. And I had the canoe on an angle blocking it so they couldn't come out. I was like, this is it, they're gonna get out of the water. And they just turned around in complete panic and started coming at me. Well, they couldn't go through the canoe, you know, the canoe obviously, they can't go through the canoe. So they just went right over top of Doug and put him under the water. The poor dog, like he didn't stand a chance. <laughs> He's being so good right now. Look at him. But I, I got to give him a warm bath. He's just out. Well, he's completely. He got. He got. He got t totally dunked in the swamp. He's completely swamp ducked. Complete. So, uh, bad news, uh, heat victim duck died, so I, I found it dead sitting beside the, uh, the water fountain, so that's the deal, poor thing died, and uh, Fabio is still not walking, and I found two more ducks that are just not totally together, and I put them in the, uh, the uh, uh, hospital. I'm going to whip in tomorrow and get uh, some uh, uh, either like starter or pellets or something uh, for the ducks that are in the barn. Get a couple bags for the hospital just so that they're not eating scratch. Give them a little boost. Maybe that's what they need. I don't know. And I got to get this lime spread. I'm hoping it doesn't rain. Um, I, if it doesn't rain, then I'm going to spread the lime all over the pen. I do a call for myself personally every year. And this year will be no different. The dark ones having seizures got me uh, blown away. They ask about chickens because they, that's the question they have. They do, they do it to me all the time. Go to a duck channel and ask about chickens. Thing to do. You know? It's like, you know, you got a Toyota and it's broken, take it to the Ford dealership. They know all about it. Chicken channel. It was, I, I did chickens for like 30 videos back in 2012. I don't wouldn't call it a chicken channel. Uh, we're technically a garden channel is what we started out as. Go to the chicken channel. Go to the backyard chickens and ask them about ducks. They used to have a really good duck guy there on that channel, but then they on that website, but then they banned them. I'm not allowed to be on that channel on that website. I got banned. <laughs> Some moderators didn't like me posting stuff about ducks. No, I haven't contacted Messer at all. Fly the drone in the dark? I guess that would be a good idea, eh? Your husband got banned there too, Opal? Yeah, I, I got banned because I was posting stuff about ducks. I can fly drones at night here. Just so we're not going to see anything except flashing lights in the sky. I'm on private property, I can do what I want here.
Who's Matt Fernando? The guy talking to you right now. <laughs> we must be trending somewhere. An inflatable oil containment boom on the lake. If I had an oil spill, that would work, yeah. <laughs> Who is Matt? <laughs> oh, I love it. Can we see the drone? You want me to do that right now? I, I, I can't just have a, a peaceful chat with you. I've got to go get you and show you equipment right now. That's the only way I can keep you here on the channel. The duck's getting lead poisoning on a lake that has no people on it, that has nobody in it. Oh, I don't know. Uh, who's Matt? I know I was asking who's Matt. We must be trending somewhere. Everybody's asking who Matt is. Matt, you want to meet Matt, guys? Here, we're, there's Matt, okay? There's Matt, and I'm Doug. Oh, now the chat's going too fast. I got to slow it down so I can see what's going on. Sorry, guys. I'm not upset, Corey. How have I not dropped from exhaustion? I, I Honestly, I just don't know, man. It's like I've, I'm, I'm on some kind of... Uh, oh, my God. Look at that. Just, uh, I just go. I don't know. I, I'm just, I don't know. I, honestly, I don't know. I, I think I'm only 30. I think that's what it is. I, I'm, I'm trapped in an old body. But the ducks keep coming out of the pen here. So I'm thinking I got to focus and get them in the pen. Doug's really interested in the swamp, though. Look at that, eh? Dog's working. You think the wounded? There's a, oh, there's a back up here, Sky Carl. I think he wounded the fox. Yeah, I do. I agree with you on the fox idea. I think I poked a hole in him, but not the not the red one that uh, that appeared all the time. I think the red one got eaten by coyotes because he hasn't been around now. Last night was the fourth night. Thursday night was the last time he was seen here. The red one. And that's the longest stretch we've ever had uh, that there's been no uh, red coyote here. So, and coyotes love eating foxes. So that's what I'm thinking happened. But the brown fox that came in that I shot over there in the dark, that, that dark spot over there, well, it was light when I did it. Um, I think I punched a hole in him because he absolutely hasn't been back. And he was successful in catching ducks. So he knows there's a buffet here. And uh, But I think the second shot tagged him. Or the first shot of Pellet got him and that's why he did that sort of a weird jump when he turned. That's possible too. But I just know that Doug um, really, really was interested in some spots uh, of uh, in the bush more like blood drippings type stuff get a giant fishing net and catch the duck all by myself in the canoe just throw the, the fishing net by myself about 800 ducks are at the lake uh, that's what I'm thinking about 800 I'm just reading some of the comments here. Some of the people are getting upset here. The shot, I explained that earlier, but I'll explain it again. I was at the, the lake, Doug was running on the back and forth on the creek, and I thought that, you know, something was there. The ducks were freaking out, and I thought to myself, I'm just gonna fire a shot off, and if something's there, it'll leave. And then Doug came back to the dock, and then that's when Doug and I, Doug swam out, and I canoed, and we got the ducks down the creek, and then the ducks almost drowned Doug. But that's why the gunshot was because uh, something was causing Doug to be really interested uh, on the other side of the creek. Uh, I hope the ducks come back too, but, you know, there's a good chance they might leave for good. They could take the waterway to another state. 
We might never see them again, actually. Ducks almost killed Doug. <laughs> okay, I'm I'm really getting a kick out of this chat tonight, guys. This is actually like a little party we got going here. Don't bother trying to explain, Barb. We haven't been around since Friday. <laughs> I do have a camera set up. I got a stream going right now. Uh, Keola Alley. Alley. Uh, I've got it pointed. Instead of pointed at the feeder, I've got it pointed at the back gate. And actually, all of them are pointed at the back gate. No, it was 800 Addy that left, not 1,000. I still have some ducks. You know, see, there's some ducks behind me. See, there's still ducks here. So the channel is still, we still, we still have ducks. Usually, when this many ducks go to the lake, they never come back, they're just gone. It's like it's just over, you know. The show's screwed, actually. I don't know what I'm going to do now. Homeless are going on a diet, I guess, eh? They're not going to be getting a lot. Well, we can seriously reduce the goal on the GoFundMe page. This is all the ducks we got, right? They're coming back. Well, they better come back. I'm really worried now. Maybe they might not come back. But they're not too enthused about going inside. Hey, little duck. Come on back. Get in the pen. <laughs> Doug, he's sitting here watching. I'm so wound out, guys. You have no idea. That's why I'm standing here out here uh, with you right now. Because, like, I'm wound right out. I couldn't sleep if my life depended on it. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm strung out I've had a crazy night here just crazy it's a uh, a serious serious go 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 night did not count on this day turning out like this honestly I thought it was gonna be really easy set the cameras up you know coyote would show like in, within 30 minutes and then boom over instead I'm standing out here with you at 1111 hey that's good luck 1111 um, with a lot of ducks gone. I have a second wind. I got my second wind at 5 o'clock today, Mindy. 5 o'clock, driving down the highway. It was like, oh, went to my neighbor's face, ran across his field. Uh, and it was about his field, that field I ran across is about 60 acres. I ran across it, talked to him on the tractor, ran across, back, and then came here and then ran around, setting the cameras up. Got everything going. I was pumped. I thought for sure we we're gonna smoke a coyote. It was gonna be Coyote Tuesday, uh, and uh, did nothing worked out. No, no, no dinner. Nothing. I got zip zero. Flashing lights. You think that would work? Like, uh, like emergency lights? Like, uh, like red emergency lights? Like, like off a police car or something to get them back? Well, it looks like it's going to be Coyote Wednesday. We're going to have another Coyote Day here. No, M&M's. Uh, uh, that's the worst thing to have, guys. It, uh, junk food like that. A strobe. And then all the ducks have epileptic fits and die. They drown in the water. I don't think that would be a good idea. Yeah, I can use a light to uh, to uh, protect predators, or to, to source out predators. You can do anything when it comes to when it comes to predators protecting your property. You can you can have a light on your gun, so you don't accidentally shoot your neighbor or your neighbor's dog or whatever. It's like you're not hunting. There's a big difference. You're not jack lighting. You're 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 protecting your property, and the light is to make sure you don't shoot something you're not supposed to shoot. But as soon as you go into the hunting realm, then everything changes. All the rules kick in and you can't do any of that stuff. But when you're protecting your property, because you know, like at three in the morning, when predators come in and start killing your stuff, 
uh, you know, it's not like they book a time and come in when the sun's up. So that's why you're like you're not allowed to shoot an animal if you're hunting after the sun sets. But with a predator, you can do it at three in the morning. It doesn't matter. If you're protecting your property. It's wide open because you know, like it's not like they they only come during daylight hours. How many ducks died? Eight hundred drowned at the lake tonight. But that's in Ontario, Jasmine. I don't know what the deal is in Quebec. Ontario's different. Stripper Magoo, they're in the, the building, actually. Oh, someone just yelled at me. Oh, Mindy. Oh, you're yelling at me now, Mindy. Well, I don't know if I want to tell you what I said because you're going to yell at me more. sarcasm well you guys you know like actually i had a comment about that i i it's like you know the live streaming you know like it's like it's like you guys read the comments i'm sitting here and with the with the comments and it's like i'm it's it's hard you know some days you know what i mean like it's it's um it, it's it's a challenge okay uh it is a challenge. It's a challenge. It's uh, so like the 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 sarcasm is sort of to lighten up some of the ridiculousness of the chat. If you know what I mean, like because some of it's just like whoa, man. It's like condolences to you, Barb. What you're what you die? You're still alive. I I see you on the chat, so you can't be dead. Nighty, 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 land. I'm sorry the ducks didn't come back for you. Well, it's kid-friendly sarcasm. Cough, Barb. These codes. I don't understand your code. Cough. How your pneumonia? How's your pneumonia? That's your. That I knew you'd give me enough hints. I'd figure it out. If I turn the big light off, yeah, but then you wouldn't see my face. I would just go to, your pneumonia's coming back. I'm sorry to hear that, Barb. I've had pneumonia, I think, four times in my life. It sucks. So I know exactly what you're going through. Believe me. Actually, I did a vlog with pneumonia. You remember that? Not last winter, the winter me four? Yeah, two winters ago. I vlogged the whole thing. I remember that, and I, I couldn't believe I vlogged the whole thing. And I, it was brutal. I was sick. Once you have pneumonia once, you got it, you're cursed for the rest of your life. It'll keep coming back all the time. All the time. And it always comes back when you don't need it. Like when you really got some better things to do. So I, I feel for you, Barb. I'm sorry. But I, I can't do anything for you. All I can do, really, what are you doing up at this time of night? You should be in bed sleeping. You shouldn't even be looking at a computer. You should be sleeping 20, 20 hours a day, minimum. 11 days of solid sleep, coughing. You're on the computer chat, you're on the computer typing coughing is what you're doing. Are you coughing actually, physically coughing or just typing coughing? Oh, you've been sleeping since Friday. Poor Barb, I really, honestly, I do, I feel for you, Barb. I know what it feels like. You're coughing and typing coughing and now you're both. I'm sorry. I can't even give you any like secret recipes because the only thing that ever works for me is just sleep. Caught, duck sneezed. Barbara Lee needs to be asleep and not sitting here listening to me being sarcastic at 11, 18 at night with 295 people watching. How come we got so many people here tonight? Maybe I should be doing all my streaming this time of night. Do you hear that, ducks? We gotta be vampire ducks. That's what it is. The show, we gotta do it at night now. No more streaming during the day. We're gonna stream at night only. What do you think, guys? The clickbait title? 
I lost the ducks. I did. I was a clickbait. Do you see a thousand ducks here? <laughs> I don't. Like, look at. It's not like I got them hidden in the bedroom or anything. There's no cure for pneumonia except sleep. Your body needs the rest. And you gotta be careful with antibiotics because it's like, uh, it, 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 sometimes it just has to run its course. They're in the hot tub, all 800. I got them packed in there. It was it was hard to get them in there. Well, you know, I, I, I killed all the cameras. They went dead for a while there, but we got them in. Okay, chat's going so quick, I can't even see anymore. And unfortunately, I can't even slow the chat down on this. Hello, Tracy. Well, we're doing a little bit of comic relief here late at night. I haven't eaten. I'm probably not going to sleep for another hour. So why not just stand out here in, uh, in the bugs for some reason? Have you not noticed? There's no bugs. So why go inside? This doesn't happen very often. Usually the mosquitoes carry me away. Like seriously. I just realized that there's no bugs. And even the light. I'll show you the light up here, guys. Look at this. Here, I'll go from the behind. Usually the light is just like that's it. That's all their bugs. That's really bizarre. Usually there's a billion bugs around that light. At least a billion. Yeah, I just heard quacking at the at the lake. No, it was a little duck walking back from the feeder. Yeah, it's a little duck that's from the feeder. Wouldn't it be funny if we're standing here and all of a sudden all of them came back? Oh yeah, I would be like right on. But there is no sign. No white glistening coming up the swamp. A chair, I put my chairs all inside. I have no chair out here. I put it away. I, I, th I, I thought I was wrapping everything up here and it was, uh, I, I, I didn't think this through. I didn't, honestly. I didn't know that I was going to have a, 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 a duck party here at 11.21 at night. I'm starting to think, oh, a chair would be nice, though. You want me to tell everybody to thumbs up the video? Okay, I've been told in chat here that I'm supposed to tell everybody to put thumbs up on the video. And if you don't, I don't know what are we going to do to them if they don't thumbs up the video. Nothing. We're going to do nothing to them? Okay. Okay, what are the, is it a potato? What, is that, what are you guys, posting a potato? I'm filming it with an iPad, iPhone, Apple. Or is that a peanut? <laughs> See, he's interested in the swamp, eh? Really interested in the swamp. Yeah, that must be some. We must be trending somewhere in Hungary. Doug's uh, Doug, Doug. Come here, come here, come here, little dude. He's a little, we must be trending somewhere that potato means something. It must mean something. It's like, <laughs> a potato mean. That's what happens when you lose 800 ducks, they give you potatoes. And I'm getting lots of potatoes right now. I'd give you a shout out if you didn't have a ridiculously long username. 
shorten it and come back and I'll, I'll give it another tra chance. But that was like crazy. It was like a sentence. Oh, couch potatoes. Yeah, you're not thumbsing up. You're a couch potato. Now it makes sense. These guys are watching the show. They know the deal. Well, that was good. Had me for a second there. Oh, everybody's going couch potato crazy now. Are we going to hit 300 thumbs up before I sign off? Are we? We're getting a lot of potatoes. Getting hungry, thinking about maybe some french fries. Oh, Sue, thank you very much. I got a $20 tip for staying up so late. Oh, well, that's just, that's just awesome. It's like, I, I can't believe it. I'm blown away. I guess I got to stay up longer now. I eat, I eat chips now. I just got a $20 tip. It's 11.24 at night. Well, now we got some tomatoes and an avocado. I don't understand what that one means. Watermelons. Now people are throwing fruit at me. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not a big fan of watermelon anyways. You lost my interest there. But thank you so much, Sue. Big time thank you. You're new here? Who are you that's new? Oh, Gina JK. No, I've seen you here before. Gina JK or somebody's using your profile picture. Whoa, did I just see another tip? Hang on here. I scrolled by. Oh, Jasmine, get a milk carton. Thank you so much. Oh, you should, you didn't have to do that, Jasmine. I'll get a chair. What the hell? Eh? We'll just sit out here. We'll see how long I can go before I drop. I was planning on getting up at three anyways to check the ducks. I'll get my gun chair. Oh. I'm hitting stuff. We'll just keep this. We'll see how long we'll just go until uh, I, I drop or the battery and the, the phone dies. Why not, eh? Let's have a little bit of fun since the day was Coyote Tuesday was a washout. Didn't work out too well, did it? Pull an all-nighter. Yeah, we're going to... No, I'm not going to pull an all-nighter, but <laughs> it's like uh, we'll definitely have a sit-down. I was actually thinking of doing a sit-down today if it would have worked out. Uh, a sit down with the ducks um, in the pen but that didn't work out because my day got a little crazy because I did all that paperwork uh, with the GoFundMe and I had to mail nine t-shirts and then uh, oh the dog Doug and you're so dirty right now you're just so filthy muddy swamp got right every part of his body oh another $22 tip thank you Kier Kyriakos? How do you say that? I'm just I'm making a total disaster of that. Kyriakos? That I I'm I'm totally destroyed that one. But thank you so much. I, I'm I'm I I I need to get a pole. <laughs> I should start pole dancing for you guys. It's twenty-two dollar night for the poles. A 24-hour chat? Well, I better plug this phone in. Wouldn't you just crap if I got the extension cord and put the power adapter in this and we just sat here all night waiting for the ducks? And just keep going. And just, I just like, just dropping. I'd be a mess tomorrow. No, Mary, I'm not getting the extension cord. There's a limit to what my body can do. I... I do have a, I have a bit of a second wind happening, and I do go sort of like the Energizer buddy here, but I, there, I, I, I do have to get some sleep. I, I do need sleep, you know. I got the wrong glasses to read this farther away. I got to keep it close to my face to read it. I should change my glasses so I can read this farther away. I got to get my different glasses, guys. These are too hard on my eyes. 
Oh, Tom, what are you doing up? You got to get up in like four hours. I got to change glasses. That way I can hold this thing farther away from my face. I find my eyes get sore if I wear those strong things all the time. We're going to lower the, uh, the power. And then I can hold this farther away. Oh, yeah, that's better. Ah, yeah, look at that. Oh, a $20 tip. Okay, who is that from? Valine Swartz, thank you so much. You guys want me to stay up all night. That's what it is, isn't it? You want me, you're, you're, your guys are out to kill me. How do you do tips? There's a dollar sign on the chat. What happened, JK Studios? I lost the ducks. You'll, you'll donate $100? Okay. Duck dollars? Yeah. You think I'm doing nothing here? You, <laughs> I love these people. Eh? They come onto the, the channel and they think that I do nothing here and that I'm just getting these tips because I'm, I'm going to start dancing on that pole over there. Okay? Or maybe that pole. We're going to do some pole dancing. But I just, I, uh, I just, it blows me away. I do nothing. I, I'm, I'm a slacker. Streaming is easy. All YouTubers, it's just the easiest thing in the world to do. You don't have to edit. You don't have to do any work. It's just like, pff, turn the camera on, step back. I'll see you in the morning, Mr. King. The fox has been gone for four nights. I haven't seen him. So I don't know uh, if he's killing anything if I haven't seen him. The ducks, they take care of themselves. They're, they're actually CGI ducks. Don't tell anybody. Well, thank you very much, David. David just did... What's the 22 is the magic number tonight? 22... David Bento, thank you so much. I'm thinking the poll is going to happen soon, guys. I'm, I'm really... Okay, ooh, I'm, I almost accidentally put him on a timeout. I don't want to do that, David. I appreciate it. I'm not timing you out. Trust me. Ooh, it just went by real fast. Though. We got to get some music if I'm going to pole dance. Is the beamer mine? No, it belongs to the ducks. Bentley, I'm 99% sure is at the lake. I'm 99.99% sure because I don't see a duck running around with a big white poofy thing on his head. Is the house mine? No. It's all CGI, guys. Nothing here is real. My music, it's, it's, you, you wouldn't believe my music, what I like. One day I'm going to make my, my private uh, music list um, public. One day. I might, one day. You might be surprised. Oh, you will be surprised, actually. you got to remember, I'm a 70s kid. Oh, Cheryl, thank you very much. $20 tip from Cheryl Phillips. Thank you so much. I don't mean mixtape. I, uh, I, I got a YouTube playlist. It has everything on it. I'm a 70 kid, but I, I, I really, I'm a big 80s fan too. Big 80s fan, but I was not normal music when I was young. I... Oh boy, it's going faster the chat. No, I'm not gonna go up there and start screaming. 
my voice on the laundry tower for the ducks. Mosquitoes just started, guys. I just starting to get bit. But it could be because I got a mosquito magnet right beside me. Look at this. The dog's sticking close to me. And he's attracting the mosquitoes. Not a lot of ducks here. We're, we're not the thousand uh, duck show here. I'm surprised they're not coming over to see us. Oh, I know why they're not coming over, because Doug's at my feet. That's why. But if they had any brains, they'd come over here, because uh, this is the safest place for them. There's a lot of geese missing, though. There's not many geese here. Well, there's some, but there's there, I saw them down at the lake. No, country music can't handle it at all. That's one thing I don't like. Absolutely not. That puts me in a bad mood, actually, country music. Ooh, oh, the yawns have started. I'm losing the energy. What, Barb? No punk music? Would... Ah, cheap trick. I don't know. Sniffy. Van Halen, definitely not. Finch Harper, I lost the ducks. I, I am a big Queen fan. I saw Queen when I was a kid. Twice, actually. It's fast chat. Yeah, it's really fast. I know, I don't like Pink Floyd. Matt, go to bed. Never heard of that band. Never heard of that one at all, actually. Beach Boys, no, man, Beach Boys, they suck. The Who, some of their songs. No, Pink Floyd. I'm just getting drove your heart, yeah. Frank Zappa, no, I've never saw him, Carl. $1,100, never heard of that band. Mac Go To Bed is a garage band? Okay, didn't know that. Depeche Mode, big time. Big time. No Black Sabbath. The cars, yep. Saw the cars in Montreal when I was a kid. Okay, well, somebody keeps typing eleven hundred dollars. What is it? You'll do oh you'll donate eleven thousand. You're not gonna donate eleven thousand. The cure, yep. Big cure fan. Some rush, not Boston. Stomp and Tom, no. Redbone, never heard of him. Tie tie my eye, never heard of that one. I'm tired. I know. I gotta go all night. We're this is an all night stream, chatting in the yard with the 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 end of the duck adventure. This is it. Duran Duran. Yep. I I I've seen Depeche Mode in concert so many times on YouTube. It's unbelievable. Rolling Stones suck. YouTube, yes. Triumph, no. But it's getting drilled. I think one day I just got to release my uh, my private music list so you guys can see. Manford Man, yeah, I like Manford Man. Beatles, no. Elton John, big time, yes. His old stuff. You'd like to see my private music list? ACDC, yes. Oh, we're just getting pounded. Emerson, Lincoln, Palmer, no. I think I got to uh, release that. Billy Joel, that guy's not even a musician. Okay, we're just getting... This has turned into a music show tonight. That's what we're doing. We're doing music. This is it. The ducks... What kind of music do the ducks like? I can't believe we're doing this, guys. What time is it? It's 11.38. I think you're just trying to keep me up. There's 313 people out there that just want to keep me up. But I got a question. If there's 316 people watching right now, why is there only 271 thumbs up for this crazy stream outside? I don't understand. 
It's like we're out here in the yard in the dark, late at night. I've lost 800 ducks and I can't hit 300 likes. It's like, I don't know what you got to do on YouTube to get a like these days. Oh, we're dropping, people are dropping off. Oh, no, 310. Disco duck, disco duck's still here. Actually, I think disco, maybe disco's at the lake too. Let me just look around. The disco, she should be here. The disco's not stupid. She knows to come home. Maybe disco is down there. Nope, there's disco. Disco's behind me. I'll try to, I'll, I'll do it this way. I'll, do, I'll zoom in. I'll show you disco. I, I couldn't. I, I couldn't see her not being. Uh, where is she? She just stuck her head up, right there. There's Disco. It's hard to see, but trust me, she's there. Yeah, absolutely, Disco's here, guaranteed. Absolutely. How's Doug? Doug's good. He's right in front of me right now. Okay, we're good. Oh, there, okay, 299 likes. We're doing good. <laughs> 302 likes. Oh, the like button's getting pounded now, guys. Thank you very much. That's, I'm guessing, pole dancing next, eh? I can't believe how late it is. I really should go. I really should, guys. I should turn the light off, get the ducks in the pen, Go have a shower. Well, no, give Doug a shower. Because Doug has to get cleaned up first because he's, he went for a complete submerge in the uh, um, in the um, swamp. And I'm going to set the alarm clock, I think, for 4 a.m. And then I'll, I'll take a, because I think, yeah, 4 a.m., 4.30. It's going to, it's going to, I got to be up when it starts getting light out because then I'll, uh, I gotta come out here because I got a hunch as soon as it starts getting a little bit dusty out in the morning that's when the ducks are gonna come home they're gonna do the run they're gonna run the gauntlet uh, down the swamp to come home well I'm hoping they will so I'm hoping they come home what if they don't guys what if the 800 ducks don't come home you want to see Doug there he is. There's Doug. But what if they don't? What if the ducks don't come back? What am I going to do? I'm going to have to come up with a whole new show idea. You could rename the channel to I Lost 800 Ducks. You lost your pig for three days? The net, the fishing net, go down and catch 800 ducks with a fishing net. You know how long that would take? Well, they gotta, they gotta navigate the swamp, eh? That's the thing. We're gonna lose some ducks tonight, though. I know it. So, you know, coyotes or a, uh, uh, a fox or something's gonna get, you know, we're gonna, tonight, it's, we, we, we are gonna have losses tonight, so that's, that's the part I don't like. I really would have liked to smoke that stupid coyote. How do you get rid of a girl? Huh? Oh, excuse me, guys. You shoot him. That's how I get rid of him. You don't have a gun, Barb? Get one. And then shoot him. Pretty simple equation. No, I don't use traps. For the ducks? To trap the ducks? What's the story with all the lime I picked up? It's for the pen. Because we've had so much rain this year, okay, I, I just want to cover all bases here because we've got some weird things going on with the ducks that I don't, I've never seen before, and I've never had this problem before. 
and someone sent me a link. I forget who it was. They sent me a link, and I read the link, and I got thinking to myself, this spring when I had a chance to get rock dust for the pen, I had a chance to get lime dust, lime, lime rock dust, okay? And I didn't. I got regular du rock dust, and I screwed up. I should have got the lime rock dust because then I wouldn't have to do this because, uh, you know, they spray burns, whitewash and burns, you know, uh, the inside of burns and that, and they mix lime up. And, it, you know, it, uh, bacteria doesn't grow on it, uh, and bugs don't stay around, that kind of stuff. So because of all the moisture we've had this year, a crazy amount of rain, I just want to just cover our bases here. Like if we got a bacteria or, you know, some kind of problem that's affecting these ducks that, uh, because it's just weird, some of the duck things that are happening here. It doesn't make any sense. It, like, it's not like a, it's an epidemic, but it's like, I got 10, 10, 12 ducks in the barn right now. And it's like, I've never had that many uh, ducks, you know, not right. So I'm going to uh, spread whatever it takes. I got seven bags of lime, so I don't know how much it's going to take to uh, to spread it all over the uh, um, the pen. But I'm going to spread it everywhere. But tomorrow's supposed to rain, so it's sort of bad idea to spread lime when it's going to rain. It's just going to get washed out. So I'm hoping the weather is uh, going to uh, not rain tomorrow. And then I can uh, uh, shoot a coyote. Serial killers do use lime. Yes, they do. You didn't need to delete that barb. It's true. They do. To get rid of the bodies. To hide the bodies. But... I killed all 800 ducks and I gotta hide them now with the seven bags of lime. That's what happened, guys. I, I, you caught me in my lie. I'm sorry. So I picked up the lime. I had to get it. The workload was too much. So I, I had to dispose of 800 ducks. So the seven bags of lime, I'm hoping it's enough lime to, to cover up the mess. That's what happened. The workload was too much streaming and all these ducks there's only so much one man can do you saw me get the lime I'm sorry I, I tried to hide that but the the stream went live and I didn't expect it when I was out there and yeah, anyways somebody's heard that stream too and so Omega posts daily did you see that guys did you see the guy in the chat there he posts daily no way! A channel that posts daily is chatting in my chat right now. Check them out! Thomas, you sent me $10? Thank you very much if you really did. Seriously, guys, check that guy out. He posts daily. He's got me beat. I don't post nothing. My channel's CGI. Everything's fake here. In the live stream, this is fake too. This is actually a recording that I'm playing later. You guys, you think you're talking to somebody right now? Pfft, the joke's on you. I, I actually have a program that reads the chat. That You know that software that you can make a face move? It's all over YouTube. You can see it. They made George W. Bush say stuff and Obama. They, you know, they, they I, I, this program reads the chat and then it comes back with just comments and moves my face. <laughs> the dog. Hey, look at him. He's there like, I, I've had enough. Let's put these ducks away. I want to have a, a, a warm bath, shower on the back deck, and call the night. That's what he's telling me. You gonna auto tune me? Do you think I'd sound better? Okay, the dog is uh, he, he's working. Eh? Look at that. Eh? He's really stiff too. He's stiff working. The swamp. See, he knows the ducks are missing. Is he ever stiff though? Eh? Look at his poor shoulder. 
But he knows there's something wrong tonight. He knows that there's uh, there's probably a coyote down there at the swamp. I hope the ducks are smart enough and stay on the water. I hope they are. Oh, Doug's sniffing. He's now walking around sniffing, guys. Uh, we might have a, a stupid critter coming here right now. I'm just looking. Look at him. Oh, he's gone. Some might be here. He won't stick. They won't stick around with Doug running around. Get my gun ready. It's, it's, uh, uh, it ain't gonna happen. Mandy says she sent me a hundred dollars. If she did, thank you very much. My rifle's hanging inside the door. You never get a clear shot off this time. I'd have to put my my infrared uh, 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 flashlight on the, on the gun, and it's sitting on the shelf, and I it's I haven't I have to clip it on. Shooting in the dark without uh, the the light doesn't work. Oh, you did, Mandy. Thank you very much. There's new rules. August coming first. Forest sets of rules to change how you view YouTube. Is there really new rules? Non-infrared scope. I have uh, I have a uh, uh, infrared light. And just a red uh, a red dot uh, scope. It's against the law to have an infrared scope in Canada. I have an infrared light so that I can shoot predators at night to come in. But you can't hunt with a light on your gun. That's against the law. Oh, I don't hunt though. I have a light so I don't accidentally shoot the wrong thing. Because I don't want to shoot things that I don't meant to shoot. Well, you guys are timing out the stuff. I don't even see what's going on here. Night vision scopes are illegal. I have night vision binoculars, but they don't attach to a gun. No, I don't have a girlfriend. Now we're into the, the, the questionable uh, things. Personal stuff. Battery dead on the boat? No. Battery? What battery? The battery's still going here. We're chatting. Maddie's in the duck or duckies. Some of these chats don't make any sense. Do I have kids? Nope. Never had kids in my life. I got. I've had dogs. How much battery left? Don't know. No idea. I'm just winging it here, guys. The canoe, yeah, the paddle is, is one of those high-tech paddles. Lithium paddle. Dogs don't talk back and they always listen. Well, Doug doesn't always listen, but he plays like he listens. You donated the GoFundMe to bring the ducks home? Unfortunately, they don't have an internet connection right now because the little rascals are out in the water. And the last time I gave them an iPad to go on the internet, they, they ruined it. It fell in the water and the, it was just done. Okay, I'm, I'm trying to read this, guys. It's fast. Send the drone right now. Matt, go to bed. Matt, go to bed. I like that idea. But I'm wondering where the dog went because he has now disappeared. He's in the front yard hunting. Oh, Jennifer just sent me $20 and told me to go eat. I'm more interested in having a shower and going to bed, though. I'll pass. I can go to bed hungry. It's three thousand dollars to come to the uh, the fifty ducks location. And that only gives you an afternoon. I can pass on the eating. I just need to have a shower and go to bed. Oh, I'll, 
I'll eat big breakfast in the morning. Big breakfast. It went up to 3,000 because two wasn't enough to deter people. Oh, he's back. He, but he's not out of breath. So he was just touring around looking. What a dog. He's walking and he's just parting the, the, the Red Sea. And the geese just lose it instead of just moving. They freak out at him. Here he comes, here he comes. Oh, you're a stiff dog tonight, aren't you? He's really stiff. He really worked hard when he was down at the lake. I should live stream the call. Well, you want me to lose my live streaming rights on YouTube? Okay. Do I have a lot of family? Well, no, now we're getting into the, the... We're just digging deep on the personal stuff, eh? Would, would you move if something 10 feet tall and hairy moved toward me? Well, it all depends. It's a bear, yeah. I love these people. 5K. 5K of what? Okay, the geese are coming close. Doug's left. No. Okay, see? The geese are right there. But see, Doug comes and they leave. Doug. Doug. Come here, Doug. Doug. Come here. Doug. The dog. Come here. Come here, little dog. Come on. Sit. Sit. <laughs> All right, dog. Just, I know, you're the one. Hey, you're the one, Doug. There's nobody else, is there? Hey, you get jealous. <laughs> and he's so dirty and wet right now and he's pushing against me. Colin's on holidays, so he's probably in his blue chair. Yeah, it's shower time. Doug's little kisses. He's not big in the licking. Doug's wondering what's going on because there's not many ducks here. He doesn't get what's going on right now. It doesn't make any sense to him. Because he does know the difference between a full flock and a partial flock. It's like in the fall when we uh, the ducks come here when they leave... Uh, uh, in the uh, the uh, transport, he's so screwed up the next day. He's screwed up actually for quite a few days after, because it's like he looks around, can't find out. Like he's like, where'd they go? Like he goes looking for them. You don't need to pray for us that the ducks are going to come back. They're not. They're gone. Yes, Gina, dogs are the best. You know what? If, if things go right, I go in and have a shower and then come back out and herd the ducks. That would be the ideal. Then I can sleep in tomorrow. Serious question, what, Barbara Lee? Ask quick before somebody, the chat gets overpopulated. Come on, Barbara Lee. Serious question, quick. Don't call your dog Beamer. I did that once. A female dog when I was a kid. I prefer male dogs. If I get up at 3 a.m. to let the dog... Okay, how do you get rid of ground hogs and bunnies under this? Serious question. Shoot them, Barb! Or another way. <laughs> you don't have a gun. Get a garden hose and stick the garden hose in their hole and flood them out. But you gotta find their hole. Beamer's a bad name, though. I did Beamer. It was, it's just so tacky. It's like uh, it's tacky stuff. It's, like, it's a stupid name. 
<laughs> I hate people that call their car a Beamer too. I just like, man, that ain't what it is. Okay, the ducks are coming back out. Eh? They've had enough. Hey, we're coming out for the party. Getting the drone out? The ducks will be so far gone away. I don't have enough battery power to chase the ducks down. Honestly, right now, they're probably already in town. Look at that, eh? Coming back out to party. Do you believe it? We've been out here for 75 minutes and I haven't gotten bit by a mosquito? That doesn't make any sense. After the heat we had today, it should be just nuts, the bugs right now. Like, it doesn't make any sense. Don't jinx it, that could start any minute. Okay, look at this. The geese are behind me. No, it didn't have garlic. The ducks are like, what's going on here tonight? There's like some kind of party in the yard. We're having a yard party. Eating grass, chasing bugs. Nobody's trying to kill us. I used to have a lot of geese, but I lost them when I lost the ducks tonight. My little blonde goose, right there. See, they're sneaking up behind me, eh? What happened to the ducks? The government came here and took them all away. Okay, now he's chewing on the chair. It didn't take long, eh? You know, he's yanking on the chair. I think Stripper is in the bathtub. It might not be Stripper. Look at this. There's two ducks that look like stripper. Okay, now it's pulling on my phone case. It was trying to undo the Velcro on my phone case. See, we're totally screwing the birds up tonight having this little bash out here in the yard, eh? Oh, but honestly, guys, I'm going to shut it down. i got to go have a shower. I feel gross. I still got to give Doug a, 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 a warm uh, uh, bath. And, uh, and I've got to uh, put these ducks in the pan. So that's what, what, what's going to happen here. So i got to turn the big light off so that uh, lay down in the grass. No, I'm not going to lay down in the grass. It's got duck poop all over it. It's 12.02. It's time. To, oh, mosquito. See that? See that right there? The first mosquito. Do you see that? See it? It's time to go. The mosquitoes just started. Okay. Look at this. The adult ducks... They're agitated over there. Go back into the pen. All right. Guys, I'm going to say uh, goodnight. It's been a blast. I did not count on doing an 80-minute stream sitting in the yard chatting with you guys. Uh, thank you for the tips. Big time grateful. And uh, maybe tomorrow I'll go to the store, do the drive through and find us some ducks to make up what I lost tonight. And uh, 
we'll just keep the show going. Try to keep it going anyway, you know what I mean? And we've got 320 thumbs up, which is pretty awesome for a stream this time of night. I'm thinking we're going to be doing more streaming at night. I'm thinking, oh, another mosquito. We got to see the mosquitoes are just starting, eh? Uh, I'm thinking we got to turn the show into a night show. I'm thinking that's a problem. Too many people are at work, and we need to stream at night. So I've got to think of a new idea of streaming at night. Maybe sitting in the pen at night, uh, doing uh, streams with the bugs and the ducks. We'll figure something out. So thanks for joining in tonight. I'm starting to yawn. The mosquitoes have appeared. It's time to cut her off. Oh, yeah, she's time to cut her off, guys. Love you all. Thanks a lot for joining me tonight. And, uh... I can't say anymore. Just thank you big time, guys. I, I appreciate the support. And uh, you make this whole crazy adventure I am on uh, that much more fun. It's just, I, I, I still can't believe I'm doing what I'm doing. And I, I thank you. So I'm going to say goodnight now. Because now I'm running out of things to, to say. I'm having a hard night, a hard time talking. Because now, all of a sudden, bang, I'm tired. <laughs>